North Dakota first. Welcome back. The Special Olympics has been a part of our country's history for more than six decades, giving children and adults with intellectual and physical disabilities year-round training and activities to be a part of. In an effort to help raise money and awareness for the organization, the city of Williston took a little dive into the deep end. Malik Wilson has the story. Just having this event is huge for us. The event that Victor Meza with Special Olympics North Dakota is referring to is the Polar Plunge, which is an annual fundraiser organized by North Dakota law enforcement as part of their year-round law enforcement torch run to raise awareness and funds to benefit the Special Olympics. Highway Patrol Sergeant Adrian Martinez is the man behind Williston's event. We have bounce houses, we have a dunk tank, we have live music, free food, free drinks. While just about anything free makes for a good time, the true entertainment and money making comes from the polar plunge itself. <laughs> Martinez says they've raised upwards of $20,000 from roughly 50 plungers, paying to dive into the 40 degree water. How do you, how do you guys feel? Great. I feel great. Is it cold? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is kind of our first year doing it in a long time here in Williston. And uh, I was kind of just informed by the Special Olympics of North Dakota uh, that we probably have uh, raised the most money um, this year uh, for all the polar plunges in the state of North Dakota. Mesa says the pandemic caused a lot of Special Olympics North Dakota fundraising events to be canceled over the last year. So seeing the turnout at the Williston event, is more than the organization could ever ask for. Special Olympics is, is uh, important to uh, the people we serve in North Dakota. Uh, with through COVID, a lot of a lot of our athletes didn't get to leave their houses, didn't get to uh, leave their their group homes. So, um, just showing that uh, the community is behind them, and uh, and just having them out here is, is great. Uh, this community has been wonderful. Any event that we've tried to put on to try to raise money and awareness for any sort of topic, uh, this community has just gone above and beyond, and I'm more, I can't be more than uh, thankful for the people around this community. The national event is typically held during the winter months, so if you're brave enough to jump into freezing water, for a good cause, of course, the help is always needed. Reporting for KX News in Williston, Malik Wilson. How brave. Meza says the next polar plunge will be held in Bismarck at the pier. Find out how to register on our website, kxnet.com. Stay tuned. Still to come.